for a snooker player, and particularly someone of Mark's class, that is very worrying. Missing a shot like that by quite a distance as well. wouldn't say it was an easy shot, but just have a look at how much he's missed the boy. Come right across it, never cue that at all well. It's not really a shot, he's very proficient at. Just eats away at your confidence shots like that. And also, Four. gives your opponent a bit of confidence and a boost. There's a nice little flick on the pink, just have a hold for this red into the right corner pocket. Five. You may get the black on the spot here. Even though the reds were a little bit awkward a few well, moments ago, all of a sudden well, he's got at least three straightforward reds to play on here. Before he starts worrying about disturbing a few just below the black. 13. Already well, after this pink will be 29 point lead. He's in a good position here, I'm saying. Nineteen. Twenty. And I'm sure he has, but if you can check the scoreboard here and play to it, if you can keep taking blacks with these reds if possible, you won't need to go near those four that are underneath the black spot. 27. 28. Now, he may play the pink here. Play him behind the red to the side cushion. Doesn't need to play the black here and risk splitting those reds, so... Good thinking. Forty-four points the lead here. Just drop this in, give it every 34. opportunity to drop. Thirty-five. And the cue ball came. Potentially a little heavy contact there. As you see the red nose dive to the near jaw. Went in day one, new cloth, new balls. Won't go in on day three or four. And what angle has he got here? He's looking at the two reds. Underneath and to the right of the black, potentially being a plant, he could also screw into those reds and chance his arm. Well, he has played for the plant, but this was what I was saying earlier. If he could have kept tighter control of the cue ball and used those two reds to the side of the table, he wouldn't have needed to 42. mess around with these. This is risky, 52 points to the good here. another look have a look at that have a look at the cue ball almost like a dragster effect great shot a little bonus knocking second red towards this right corner pocket Ooh. <laughs> using all of the pocket there as well quick glance at the score 60 points in the lead 50. 67 remaining red and black Should put the frame beyond doubt. He knows how good Max Albi is at getting snoopers, so. Definitely no heroics with this black. Oh, 
Yeah, well played. 68 now, which is 59. 58. Love to get one more red just to stop his opponent coming back to the table. Oh, well played. A wonderful shot. Well, that's definitely the frame now. When you go back to Mark Selby missing that red into the this bottom left hand corner pocket. I certainly couldn't foresee that he was gonna lose the frame from that position, but this has been a wonderfully crafted break from his opponent. Sixty seven. And he's got a lovely angle here in the black. He can disturb the two reds. Yeah, very nicely played. 74. And this will really please him just as much as that century, this break, because it's been wonderful. 75. He's had to work hard for it. He's played some wonderful little cannons and really good position with the cue ball. He has a chance still of making another century. He need this red to go in. It's difficult. 82. Is it there? It is. 82. Excellent. What a break this is. Crowd are loving it. Gonna have to go some to make a century. Right. He's gonna need, need yellow, green, brown, and indeed the blue. 92. 95. May just try and drop the brown in and play the double. What are you going to try and take the blue out? It's a difficult one. Get in there. Oh, what a shot. Oh, unlucky. Oh, come on, fluke it somewhere. He's going to cut it in down the green pocket. It's not there, but what a wonderful break from the same Buffalo. Almost a century. Great stuff. He goes back in the lead. He leads the former champion, Mark Selby, now. Three frames, 2-2. Two, two.